fractional distillation. When you have a liquid mixture of liquids and you want to separate the liquids, you better use fractional distillation rather than simple distillation, especially if the boiling point of the different component of the mixture of liquids is has no big difference. So there is no big difference in the boiling point. In fractional distillation, you have the mixture of liquids in the round bottom flask. And then you use a Bunsen burner to heat the liquids, where the different liquids will start to uh, vaporize and give you vapors of different liquids. And then you have the fractionating column attached to your round bottom flask. The fractionating column has a higher temperature at the bottom and a lower temperature at the top. So what happens is when you have mixture of liquids with different boiling points, the one with the highest boiling points will start to vaporize, become liquid, become stay as vapors at the bottom of the fractionating column. But as they reach the top of the fractionating column, they will condense and then they will be um, uh, going back into the solution. However, the one with the lower boiling points will stay as vapor at the top and then they will start going into the condenser. Of course, we have the thermometer, so we can monitor the temperature at the top of the fractionating column. Then the liquid with the lower boiling point will go into the Liebig condenser, where we have cooling water running through, with the water coming in from the bottom, coming out from the top, and then the uh, liquid with the lower uh, boiling point will be condensed and can be collected or distilled and inside a receiving flask. Then after collecting your first liquid, you can increase the temperature and then you can collect the second liquid. So this is how you separate mixture of liquids with um, boiling points which are not far from each other.